Hello. How are you yeah. today? I am Doug. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we left off this project where we wrote this JSON file. And now what we want to do is finish this JSON file. Um, we also want to um, potentially write something with TypeScript that will serialize this JSON file so we can use it in our editor. So mm. Mm. Um, I started playing around with that and I looked at this package that we could use called TypeScript JSON Serializer. If we just mm -hmm. go to what that looks like. TypeScript JSON Serializer. It deserializes, right? Yeah, it also deserializes. It's a surdy. So, mm -hmm. um, so it uses a decorators, which means we need to add this to our TS config. Um, it gives us these properties: JSON property, serialize, or deserialize, and serialize. So we can set this decorator to a class. That's an interesting syntax. Which one? The pipe. Well, does that just mean that it's an union or intersection? Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a union. Okay, yeah. <laughs> You're right. So it can be a string or this thing. So here's the example. So they have this serializable and JSON property um, import. They have this enum, enum, and they set this class to be serializable. And then they need this at JSON property for the actual properties. And then they send that. So where is it? That's a title. You normally know, define your properties in your constructor. Um, you can specify them oh, outside sorry, of the constructor. Um, sorry, that's an argument. This, right? I thought that was in the constructor. Right. right. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay. So no, blah 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 blah. So let's see how they use it. Create a serializable class. What are they doing here? Function to transform coordinates into an array. So it's taking this object of x, y, z and outputting. It's hard to read this. Is this the output of the. Yeah, it's a function, right? Yeah, that'd be the return type. So they're just returning this thing. Okay. Uh, I mean, they don't actually use it or serialize. Is that called serialize yeah, or deserialize? Yeah, they use it. They do have this. On serialize and on deserialize thing. Hmm. Oh, here we go. So they get that JSON. Hmm. And then they say the templated on organization JSON on the, the class. What if it's an interface then? Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit, I mean, it, like, yeah, we should be able to run it at least, but this is where yeah. interfaces, you can't really instantiate interfaces. True. It has to be an instance. Uh, how does the interfaces work in TypeScript? Like you just create so, an like, object that is of the interface type, right? Yeah. So like JSON can satisfy an interface. Yeah. 
like maybe you can tell it to just create a JSON. Just a regular object. Mm. Yeah, what's the documentation for deserialized? What's that second parameter mean? It's a tight new parameter. Yeah, since, since when could you click on things? Sorry? Is this new? This go to definition? Um, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen that before. How does it know? They probably employ the same things that the IDEs and the text editors mm -hmm. have for go to definition. So it's set, I, this is interesting where the type is a new. What does that even mean? And then it's got this parentheses of multiple arguments. I think it means it's a constructor. A constructor of T. So when they pass in this, in this example, the name, um, organization they're not passing in new organization they're passing in the organization constructor so this is a function that you would call mm. new on yeah and that makes yeah you, you call a new organization yeah um, so you could pass multiple constructors potentially what does that even mean then if you have multiple no, no, that's that's the parameter list of the constructor. Oh, okay. So this yeah, this is saying, saying this returns a T. It returns an organization. A T is organ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the actual. So how would you pass in all of its parameters then? But you don't. No, it would call this with the parameters. So if organization took. Um, was a class that had like an int and a string for its constructor. You, would you need to put that in this deserialized method call? Uh, well, like in this example, it doesn't. No. Uh, I'm not sure what it would pass in for the constructor. But maybe this example doesn't actually have parameters for organization. Organization. Yeah. Constructor. There's no constructor. <clears throat> so, okay, so if we were to test this, which I have set up um, in this model folder, a TypeScript which has this entire example, and um, I guess what I'll show is that if I run TSC in this thing, it will work. So if I do TSC dot Uh, maybe just TSC. Do you know how this works when you just run TSC? Uh, no. So TSC, <clears throat> you can run with a specific file, like I can give it models.ts. Um, uh, it reads the TS config, doesn't it? Yeah, and if you just write TSC, it looks at the TS config where you specify which files to compile, well, uh, as well yeah. as all these options that we want. So like, the reason why this doesn't work so it's like make kind of um, is because we don't have this experimental support for decorated thing which we need um, mm -hmm. and if we remove these two and I just do TSC you'll see something interesting what did you remove uh, I moved, removed the target and module and when you do okay. that and you just run TSC. So if I remove this target, um, the ES version that I think it might default to is a bit older, and so it doesn't have this. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So I think, I think yeah. If you yeah. just have the target uh, as ES next, it will work. I think those are ES six methods on object. Yeah. Or ES ten. I can't remember what number they're up to. Right. But uh, what this is doing is it's compiling the models.ts into this disk folder, which I just removed that models.js file, but we can have a look at what it generates. Um, 
Yeah. And as I was saying to you before, like, we import the module TypeScript JSON serializer in this um, mm -hmm. models.ts, but it doesn't actually put that in to the models.js. So in order to get that in, uh, we would need to bundle it. And I don't think TypeScript does bundle it. You would need something else like Rollup to do that. And so, so, so import from, and that's talking node, is it? That's node's version of importing. Yeah, you, you, that wouldn't be valid in a browser. Yeah. So we would need to then use Rollup to change it to the browser compatible import. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah. There's a thing called import maps. Okay. Uh, that's only for the web. And I think it enables the ability to to use keywords like that, like you know how that's not a path, it's just a name. Is to to provide a mapping from name to path. And I, I believe that's something that's coming to browse, which could could make it compatible, could make browsers compatible with Node, if you just have the right import map. I don't know what status. Oh. Go to, go to the third link for status. Maybe it's already implemented behind the flag. And it's origin trial. It's implemented. Just not um, properly shipped. If, if you go to that documentation link, they should have an example. But like that, that would be like in the future, a solution for this node modules importing problem. Mm. So you have to have a specific type. Yeah. Yeah, so you import jQuery and then it's a, and then it's a path. Mm. So it's like modules can just import jQuery without right. saying a full path. Just like node modules. Okay, well, that's interesting. So in the future, we might just be able to use the import and then just create a mapping. Yeah, yeah. But for so now, add the Jeff for nodes. There's other benefits for doing this. But right. Yeah, but then we can't use it. Um. So. So for us to do this, we probably need to use something like roll up, and I'll just show that this does not work if I have a basic HTML file, and. It's using type modules, and uh, by yeah, just like yeah, it'll, if I run it'll this, die on that import. exactly. Um, uh, yeah, where is the file? Much on a different one. I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. Where is it? <laughs> oh, it's here, that's fine. Okay. Let's just put that on the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so if we Yeah, at least dog work. That's important. <laughs> yeah, so we can see that it can't resolve this module. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so if we use rollup. Man, if we had import maps, we wouldn't need rollup. We just serve static files and say, hey, yeah. look here. <laughs> So let's just look at the previous example code that we looked at previously. Uh, if only there was a way to tell TypeScript to output for the browser. Like we just want its mod its imports to be a little bit different. Mm. Hmm.
And we probably need to install this package. Is it yarn install? How do you say that as a dependency? Or is it yarn add? If I remember. I don't remember yarn. Just try it. Yarn add? Is that a thing? Save? Maybe? Yarn add roll up. Save? Okay. Un unmet peer dependency. Why can't I just add the dependency? Hmm. And then how do we call roll up? So let's see, I've got credit types. Um, roll up config. Well, it checks out the make file. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what I have. Uh, mm -hmm. What's this dash M mean? Oh, is that map? Mm. Okay. So if we add to this thing, roll up, and then we just write roll up dash C, what will happen? Okay, so if we do yarn roll up. Yarn run roll up? Whoa. Oh, this is the thing. Okay. Error JSON properties not exported. Imported by not associated. Does that file exist? Which one? The index.js? Um, node modules, type script, JSON. Yeah? What's in it? <clears throat> so it says it couldn't find a deserialize or something. Hmm. What does the east do? What does M do? Maybe it means do a different kind of module. So is JSON property in that file? Um, that's a good question. Exports JSON property. Yeah? Yeah, it's a node export, it seems. Is that how exports works? I don't know. I think I think that's how node exports work. Like the of the exports variable. So, hmm. so we uh, we don't have a rollup config. Here we do. I have. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. So my TypeScript config has this um module resolution node, right? If I get rid of that, I'll show you what the error looks like when I build it. So if I run TSC. It will stall and be very slow. Yeah, so it cannot find module. And that's why I added mm -hmm. this thing 
Mm, it says no. Do we have that in our CSC in this thing? No, no, no. Good question. Yeah, we do. Source map yeah. through our directory includes source stuff. Um, I'm just going to add basically source map as well because that's good to have source map yep. through. And what else are we missing? We have like this thing which I've installed. Let's just look at the package that Jason. Make sure that everything is there. Uh, Maybe try yes. running, running make in the three. Yeah. See if it's broken. Oh, I have, I have to probably like install. It doesn't have a node module, so I have to do. Yeah. I have to do mm -hmm. down install or whatever. Um. Yeah, we hit, we hit a roadblock in terms of getting roll up to export TypeScript while JavaScript. Mm. And so yeah, what's different about that file versus the three files? Yeah, I'll just look at the roll up plugin node result. Roll up plugin node result. Um, in the streets, we actually import like the node module name or is it more direct? In the streets, do we import the node module name or direct? Um, oh, yeah, we do. I, I saw it in the error message. We just import the tree. Right. Yeah. And that's kind of the same way that I do it in this one. Mm -hmm. I just import from that. So it's kind of like. There could be something different about three versus this TypeScript JSON serializer. Well, if you look at the documentation, which um, is a lot, node resolve, which is what we're using. Oh, interesting. So it uses, is this the set node resolve? Whereas I saw just resolve. Hmm. Okay. So if we look at the roll up config, we can mm. see that this mm -hmm. is using no resolve. I wonder if that. And. Wait, that's, that's quite different. That's a destructure, and the other one was not. A that, that's true, yeah. So, but fundamentally a different object. Yeah, it's using the default. But I wonder why it's using this one. Maybe let's try that. Mm. Like, why is it using no resolve as opposed to just resolve? And if we just try what happens. And yeah, we still got the same thing. Was it calling it as well? Or just passing it? No, it was calling it. It does have this thing, browser. Oh, yeah. Okay. Use the browser property in practice of checks. What does that mean? It's a specified alternative file. This is why I hate this ecosystem. It's so complex. Yep. Yep. Where they made dinner, use the browser's yeah. input so that there's no difference. Um, sorry, so I've installed this, and if I do main, oops, will it work? Oh, I think that's watching, so it's it should have oh, okay. compiled, and now we need to do make roller. Yeah. So we'll see if that works. That's right. All right, that one's happy. So can we see the output of disks? What does what does that disk import? Mm -hmm. Does it import like an index.js? And is that index.js fundamentally different from what we're dealing with? So it imports as three from three. Yep. 
So inside um, inside node modules three, is there like an index.js? Are we in source? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is no index mm. such as. Yeah, like is how does it know? There's a three that maybe the maybe the package that Jason specifies what its main file. Ah oh, yeah, maybe. No. <laughs> I mean the the three J the three JS oh, package okay, Jason. Right. I see. Uh main is built three JS, right. So you're thinking that this thing doesn't have a well let's look at the let's look at the package JSON for this thing so we can understand mm -hmm. what it's doing. So it has a main which is index. So it is important from that. And index.js mm. looked similar to this as a we found JSON, um, what was it called? JSON deserialized. Yeah, we, we saw it was exporting that. So it's like, why, why is rollup confused? We should find it. Yeah. And let me just run this as well. How do we run this? Um, so we built on, yeah. So is there an index or the HTML there is? So if I run Hmm. Did it not bundle it correctly? Or do I need to run as a server? Yeah, okay. So I need to actually yeah, have the server. Up. Let's see if it works at least. Well, okay. Um, why is it? It's already running. Is it? Why did you kill it before? Yeah. Uh, uh, hard refresh. Right. It looks like it's not bundling. Uh, uh, yeah. Where's that bundle? Is it because this index is not referencing it? Huh? There's, there's no bundle? Didn't no, we read there isn't. Up? There isn't. Oh. Wait, yeah. So yeah. we want to run make what? Roll up. Just to see what happens. Yeah. And then... Okay. Yeah, bundle. Yeah. 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 And then... Then... Why? Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Okay, just... Hard refresh. Yay. How do you control this? You, like, press arrow keys or something. WSAD. Yeah. <laughs> I remember this. This is cool. Play for him. Um, okay, so this is definitely working, which means we can get this to work. We just need to follow the exact same thing that we're doing for this thing. Alright, so let's just look at the TS con Yeah, sorry? We could possibly, like, add, um, add the JSON serializer to 3 as a dependency. Oh, yeah. And see if it, it, it has a problem. And That's that tells true. us whether... Uh, JSON deserializer is the problem. problem. Yeah. So if we just add TypeScript JSON deserializer. Deserializer, yep. And then if we just go into source main.ts, and it's just import this thing. 
Let's see if this works. Okay, so if we do make watch mm -hmm. filing, it happy. Uh, maybe cause uh, yeah, we maybe we need to actually use them. It might not actually be included. So if we call it at some point. Yeah, let's just do this. Yeah. Let's yes. Oh. oh, I have to change the um, TS config to use um, mm -hmm. experimental decorators and mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay, It won't detect the change because it's the TS function. Right. It should really be checking for TS config changes. I think it's working. <laughs> Oh yeah, we can't tell because like if it errors, we just get the old value. Mm. This to written to undefined. That's a different error. Oh wait, no, they're the same error. Yeah, it's the JSON. Oh, oh wait, wait. So, so that error comes after other errors. It's it's a false error. The real error is something happened up there which broke everything else, and therefore things won't get exported. We we're looking at the wrong thing. We need to look at the first error. Sorry, so you're saying this is um, not indicative of the error? It's something else? This is most likely a consequence of the other error. The Where, first error. Where's the first error, sorry? This... Where's up, the... Up, this one? The, the yellow. The oh, thing this has been written to undefined. Yep. So, so that's probably a bad thing. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, let's read the right read the line of code. Ah, uh, so something to do with decorate. Maybe it's to do with the fact that we're using this experimental feature. So like if we look up experimental um yeah, so this is this is TypeScript's experimental feature that we're setting true, so maybe we need Rollup to know about it. Oh no. <laughs> you know what? Right. Maybe we yeah. should just like figure out how to serialize, deserialize JSON ourselves and not use this stupid thing. Well, maybe just yeah, maybe just not use that library. There are probably other libraries. Yeah. Okay, that was that was a good experiment in that we could see that our 3ts thing is okay it's really just this yeah. thing so let's yarn remove typescript oh wait let me go back to it. yarn remove typescript json serializing does that work yeah goodbye i was having a conversation this morning about uh, how how problematic new south wales is in terms of COVID. Yeah. And I was saying, like, oh, it seems all right, because we've been getting, like, between 10 and 20 cases per day, and it hasn't been, like, increasing. Um, but uh, they said it's still scary because even though it's not exponential, it's mm. not outbreaking, every one of those cases is just a bit extra risk that an outbreak will happen. And so this linear increasing number of patients is, like, the risk of an outbreak is linearly increasing. <laughs> um, and this scenario that we're in here kind of reminded me of that, of like every 
little thing that you add is yeah. an extra risk that she will just stop working. And so like that that extra like flag used experimental things is like what broke it. Because mm -hmm. every time you add something, uh, when you have a sort of critical mass, it's like, okay, something is just gonna fuck up. Yeah. Gonna fuck. Well, the ecosystem yeah. of having roll up have to be compatible with something like TypeScript and all of its features as you're saying like mm -hmm. this codependency of like multiple systems yeah. creates this like every link between them becomes another failure point not just the systems it's now every link between them as well yeah. which is the quadratic like nature of it yeah <laughs> all right so let's have a look if we can see Well, I mean, this is one thing we could do, or we could just start writing the conversion of our JSON into TypeScript and just have that there. So, so like, one thing we could do is to like not serialize or deserialize at all. Like just use json.parse and json.stringify. Lol. And just like have a massive object. Um, yeah, so like, what's the benefit in like, typing it out? I guess it's so that we could, um... It's type checked. Yeah, like if we wanted to get our make gamer to do any sort of checking, um, we would reuse some of that stuff. Um... Hmm. Like, surely you could go from, like a J, like, Let's just quickly have a look if there's any other serializers. That, that was just the first one that, that I saw. Sorry? That, that medium all looked interesting. Which one? Um, two, two above where you just clicked. Oh, yeah. That looks like where, where we are. Yeah. We just want to serialize and deserialize TypeScript. How hard could it be? No good solution. From this version, what am I on? TypeScript. I guess three point eight. So we're a bit ahead. Maybe there's some. All right. So what's a good solution? Not restrict class features. Should not restrict what types of members a class can have. Uh -huh. Let's skip all that. So the crux of the problem is that when you want to round trip serialize, deserialize TypeScript class to JSON, what you get back is not an instance of that type. You get back a generic object with all the same data fields as your class. For instance, if, if you have this with a two string method. And you run oh, it. so this is if you have no libraries. This is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What does object got assigned do? Um, given an object and another object, it assigns all the all the members of the second object into the first. Okay. So they just create a blank person and then just add to this mm -hmm. instance all of the things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we don't actually use the constructor and build it with this assign. So validating it would be a problem. Hmm. So they have a public read only constructor. Also it doesn't nest like if your class has like other classes inside it, you won't create those other classes. Yeah. Set prototype hold. What does that do? Setting the prototype method or sending its prototype to this. 
So that would that change all of the instances of person when you do that, or just this instance? Probably just that instance. Why what is that for the new person? New person is a JSON parse object. So they're setting the JSON, the object that you parse. Mm -hmm. So you have the prototype of the person object files. And they're saying it's worse. Well. <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to sort of skip through and just, what is their conclusion? Okay. What's type JSON? Oh, yeah. Serializing for TypeScript with decorators. Ah, uh, that's already a problem. Yeah, it looks exactly like the other one. Um, that we just saw. Who knows, it might do something magical that makes it work properly. So they're kind of like going towards using this type JSON approach. Hmm. Sounds like in a sort of compromise way. Yeah. Okay. Well, they 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 didn't say no to type JSON, so I guess that worked out for them. Yeah. I mean, if you think about this, right? Um, we could just write something very simple that does that JSON parse of this. And then from there, we just write a very simple serializer ourselves. Um, but to deserialize, a cl like, like once we deserialize uh, it into our classes, and we want to like get the state of our game and put it into some sort of JSON. Mm -hmm. um, Yeah, could we just like have each class have a like a two JSON method and then just compose the yeah we just write something that just composes um, a massive JSON calling all of the two JSON methods and it will just like create the blob that we want. That goes in one direction, but you then need to deserialize as well. Yeah, so for each class okay. we write our own serializer that based on the, the key that we're defining here, it just takes this section and we'll, we'll write the serializer ourselves. Hmm, it still doesn't solve the serializing. Like to get from that JSON back into having classes. So what do you suggest? <clears throat> um, I think type JSON might, might work, we should try it. Yeah. I think it'll be a lot better than trying to come up with a... Like, we'd, we'd basically be going down the same path as guy. Trying to make a handwritten solution. Mm. And probably finding why it's hard. Okay, well, let's just see if we can get it working in the browser. I think mean, that's the, the problem that we're <laughs> facing at the moment. So it was that's right. Roll Jason. I, I imagine we'll have the same issue with the decorator thing, but we'll see. No. Is my internet pretty bad or something? Mm, seems fine. 
Uh, you're not glitching out or anything on my end. Hmm. Maybe their internet is broken. That's not good. Can you? Do they? Yeah. Do they exist in NPM? Sorry? Do they exist in NPM? Oh, yeah, they do. And I can try. Can you mix Yarn and NPM? Low. I mean, probably. Oh god. Wait, so you can add it with um, NPM and not Yarn. Is that why? <laughs> we just mix NPM and Yarn. Yeah. Anything that goes wrong from this point, we're just playing it on that. Yeah. Um... If we just metadata. Do I need that as well? Reflect metadata? Yeah, what's with that? Oh, optional for additional type safe and reduce the text okay. requirements. But I I just added it. Type JSON. Why is it not picking it up? Is it there in the modules? Yeah. It's here. Oh yeah. Type JSON. Is it because I mixed yarn with NPM and it got all weird? Must be. <laughs> okay. It worked that time. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um but it's there, but it's still like giving me this error. Type declarations. Hmm. Oh, what happened to the module resolution node? Is that what? Maybe. Okay, so that build. Okay, that was it. Now, if we want to roll it up, mm -hmm. um, I have to install it again because I deleted it. Yeah, you deleted it. And let's get that node resolve roll up thing. Yeah, I don't understand why this says no resolve and I use resolve. Don't you love this? Like we waste, we've been working on this for like uh, forty-eight minutes. And we haven't really like done anything. <laughs> <laughs> Is this amazing? Or more or less? Back to, I mean, you've already worked on this before. Like, it's more than 48 minutes. Yeah, I know. Like however much time you've been spending, plus the amount of time we spent on treats. <laughs> because we're building on top of that. <laughs> it is. Who knows? It's like six hours of work. Right. And we well, didn't know it. Alright. So if we roll it up, and we're gonna, like, have some problems, I reckon. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. It's the same, same. thing, Jason Mabla. This has been rewritten to undefined. Yeah. So what we need to look at is oh um yeah. um and that's happening inside model JS. And it's mm -hmm. to do with decorator. So yeah. yeah, I think I think you're right. The whole decorator thing is just no. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, let's just see if there's a thing. Can can we do it without decorators? I don't know. I don't know. Right, let's just see if there's a solution here. Oh, hey, there's the error message. Hmm? 
There's a what? That's that's the error. That yeah, 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 I know. Is the same error. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should set import helpers true and add this dependency on TS lib so that helpers like underscore decorator and blah blah blah, blah, blah closing this dupe of this. This is a bug. Okay, could you resolve it? And this is materials components though. So that doesn't really generically help us since it's. Oh, just more fun. Huh? Pardon? Of course. What? I think I'm lagging. Right. Yeah, I'm lagging. Um, your internet is sort of dying for me. Yeah, it, it is lagging for a bit. But it's coming back. Yep. Uh, what, what um, would you, you add yeah. that? Sorry? They were saying, like, add input helpers true or something? Well, let's just look at this one, because this is actually in the roll-up um, issue, as opposed yeah. to material or whatever. Mm -hmm. But this is to do with transform async to generator. Yeah, sorry, let's just go back to that thing and maybe try that. If that works, that'll be amazing. And yay. We should set input helps as true on TS lib. Where does that, where do we set that though? What does TS lib? Oh, add a dependency to TS lib. Set that for the TS config? Okay. Okay. I mean, just set it in all the config. Sorry, just set it where? Just set it in all the configs. Oh, in all the where. configs, right, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, uh, your bash RC. Put in your robots.txt. <laughs> uh, what? Ah, aha. Uh -huh. So we need the TSLib module dependency somehow. How do we have dependencies? I don't know. Let, uh, let's Google TSLib. Yeah. Well, well. This is how AI is going to program. It's just going to see the error, Google it, and then do the thing. <laughs> No beds or get up and, and it's good. Oh, Rollup has its own TypeScript plugin, which we might need to use. Oh, shit. Which I didn't do with the other one because I just wanted to use TypeScript itself, whereas I think this is going to do the TypeScript compilation for you with just Rollup, maybe? Actually, semi-serious, this whole, um, what's it called, GPT-3, or whatever it's called, the, the AI thingy? Yeah. Um, if you, if you fed it, um, if you fed it the code, and then the beginning of a config, and told it to, like, fill in the rest, it might come up with the right answer. <laughs> Uh, it's like it, it understands the context like oh you're using decorators you're using this okay you need these dependencies because i've read seven million projects and now now i know that <laughs> yeah i mean I could, just just let's make an ide plugin that does that <laughs> let's just try this first maybe <laughs> <laughs> And this and is why we, we never. Yeah, this is why we don't get far with like node stuff because this is just stupid. Um, okay, so save. And then once I have that, I can put it as the input our TS file, and the output is going to be changed. So maybe I don't need a TS config. I don't know. I actually have no clue. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's put, make the input now our source. This is the path to enlightenment. So yes. the feeling you have now is the feeling you will have always while you're enlightened. This. And I guess we need to do both of these. I don't it's need a loop, so sure. All right, Jan, roll up. <laughs> then it explodes. Or even worse, then it works. And it's like, no. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay. Oh, we yeah, we, we, do, we we haven't like told it to use TS loop. Yeah, so how do we tell it to use TS loop? Roll up, use TS loop. Yeah. Did Was TS loop uh, an NPM package? Maybe it's got instructions on how to use it. Well, it says here that TSLib need to be installed separately. Interesting. Okay, so we need to install that. So we go mm. yarn at TSLib That's save. Weird. Yeah. And then we go yarn roll up. Yep, yep. Come on, work! God damn it. Uh, same thing. Yeah, but now, Nothing. but yeah, so maybe now we need to add to this config the, um, what was that thing? Import helper or something? Didn't we do that? I put, but now where it's in the rollup config, not the TS config. Uh, add, it, add it to all of them. Yeah. yeah. Copy. So where do we put compiler? Uh, I guess we could just try putting it in the thing, see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just it in there. I guess in here. Maybe. In here and, and inside output, sure. <laughs> Why not? Wait, is this going to try and do that? Come on! Need more input helpers. More input <laughs> Roll up. Decorators type script. Uh, well, instead of setting it to true, set it to two. Oh yeah. It's more than true, it's two. <laughs> oh, here we go. Mm. What? Tree shaking not working with decorators. Yeah, that's the problem. I used to think NPM ecosystem was like, it's totally fine, it's all open and free, but uh, no. Even in an open free system, you can create shit. It doesn't mean you can make, it doesn't mean you will make things that are great. You can make things that are great, but you can also make things that are shit. Mm. And we're in a situation where there's a lot of shit. Maybe we just don't use TypeScript. Um, so another option is, oh man, it's so sad to have to serialize, deserialize without any static type checking. Oh. Sad. Why isn't that just part of TypeScript? It's like the that's a Yeah, thing. and like if we have your 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 service worker like reading this package thing, there's no way it's right? gonna work at all because how do you bundle how do you even bundle this in the service worker? Um, oh, unless we generate it from this thing then. That's what we would do. Yeah. So the service yeah, worker would use this generated bundled thing. Cannot bundle decorator 
TypeScript roll up. Come on. Yeah, yeah, that's our problem. Because we, we saw it before, that's the import helpers. That was the error. Yeah. Uh, it didn't work. Uh, TypeScript decorator. Come on. So this is the problem in this material thing. You build it in roll, roll up, and then he gets the exact thing that we got. A potential work is to redefine this in your roll up configuration. You can redefine this using something like that. What? What does that mean? We should set import helpers through. Where though? Where do you mm -hmm. do that? Closing as a dupe. Yeah. And then let's see if that one has like a CL attached to it, like oh, yeah. a chain, and see what that change does. Yeah, that's the same error. No emit help is true, import help is true. Where though? Um, are, there, are there any like commits related to this issue? Wait, just scroll down, it should be in the... Oh, right, you, you were in the right place, next pull request. Um, yeah, import TypeScript helpers from DSLib or TSLib. That first pull request. Oh, sorry, where do you see it? I'm blind. Oh, this one. Right. Yep. Yeah. That's like, that's it. Yep, yep, yep. What file are you? Commits. 29 files changed. <laughs> you can go to files change to see. Oh, it does that. Okay. So if we just look at the TS loop, we've added the TS loop thing. Yeah. And then we just want import helpers. And that's in tsconfig.js. Okay. Uh, so where yeah. is that in tsconfig.js? Oh, shit. Yeah. What's that inside? Click on the arrow, the, um, the, the other arrow, the one with the line. So? So they have it. Is that in compile options? No, it's outside of it. I think it's inside compile options. Is it? Pretty sure. That's not. Is it? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, but do they have a rollup file in this project? Because how do they? How does TS config and rollup work? Because I have a tsconfig.json which I put it in here. Import helpers is true. Yeah, you put it in file options, so that's the same. And my question is like, how does rollup read this um, tsconfig? Rollup read tsconfig.json. It's probably outputting the TypeScript in the different in a slightly different way so that it doesn't invoke the bug in rollup. So if we just um, compile it with tsconfig and then do the rollup without the TypeScript, what will happen? So if we just go tsc, and that generates the disk file, and then we'll use the rollup thing um, without this thing again. And the input's going to be the dist model dot js. <clears throat> I think we did try this and it didn't work. Right. So we're going back to this thing. So this guy. And Jan Roller. This has rewritten to undefined. Yeah. 
Remember, not exported. This has been registration. This converting file. Maybe we should try something that's not rolling. Like um, gulp or something. Protobuf? Sorry? Protobuf. Does Protobuf support TypeScript? So the main difference here is yeah. you don't define classes in TypeScript. You define it in like Proto but it will convert itself into TypeScript. So basically you're, you'll be generating TypeScript classes. Hmm. This looks like it's worth it, I guess. No. Oh, cool. Hmm. This looks promising. Hmm. So the main reason this is sort of advantageous is that it doesn't use decorators. Yeah. We can try this. Just see if we mm -hmm. can compile this and then run it in the browser. Yeah. That's what we want to do. Yeah. All right. New, whatever we have that in the moment. Yep. <laughs> Yarn remove. Roll up. Go away. Yarn remove. Well, let's delete this file. This is going to be a really boring video. And ourselves. Um, we should put the Benny Hill theme music in the background. <laughs> and, and kind of fitting, isn't it? It's like running around in circles. Yeah. And getting lost and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just like will give people the, and our, our future selves, and insight into like how bad this ecosystem was at this point in time. Mm -hmm. I, I look forward to looking back on this and not being in this situation. <laughs> so we can like name the video, like mark this day, like where were you when 